Her Excellency the First Lady Madam Fatima Tababaro and delegation recently attended the Fort Mac Africa Asia Luminary Conference in Cairo, Egypt. The event brought together First Ladies from four African countries and other prominent women activists to influence positive change towards the advancement of women, children and youth across Africa. Momodi Jalo reports. Host of influential women who attended this high-level conference that discuss women, children, and youth issues. The first ladies of Guinea, Niger, Central African Republic, and Chad also graced the event, organized by the Mike Foundation to highlight the need for global partnership to address the challenges facing these vulnerable groups of society, particularly in Africa. The foundation has contributed significantly in improving lives through health, social, and economic developments in Africa. Delivering her statement at the conference, Madam Fadwa Baro pledged to launch and champion the Mark More and the Mother initiative in the Gambia to assist those suffering from infertility, breast and all kinds of cancer-related health problems. This campaign focuses on creating awareness on the issue of infertility with all these mental, physical and social challenges. Sadly, women are mostly blamed for infertility when it is clear that in some instance, it is the men. This is why I proudly accept to serve as a Mark Modern and Mother Ambassador. Let me put out that before the launch of this campaign, I have done a lot of work, working with women at the grassroots level together with men to encourage dialogue and create awareness, which is an important first step to having access to fertility treatment. I wish to take this opportunity to challenge everyone here present, either in your personal or professional capacity, to take this message to the wider population. The Mark Modern and Modern concept places emphasis on helping women overcome the numerous social and health challenges they face in their lives. It is championed by the Mark Foundation and has tremendously improved the lives of many women across Africa. Also speaking at the forum, the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Safi Sise, expressed readiness to partner with the Foundation as their interventions would complement her ministry's efforts in responding to the challenges faced by women. There is al almost a total absence of cancer facilities in the Gambia, almost a total absence. Besides the fact that uh, we've introduced this um, HPV vaccine, that's the human papilloma vaccine, which targets girls from 9 years to 15 years, and uh, the screening of cervical cancer, there's nothing. So my coming in to collaborate with the Gambia will be a, a, an advantage to us. The CEO of the Mark Foundation and also president of Mark Modern and Modern Initiative, Dr. Rasa Kalej, said that they are willing to train Gambian doctors in the specialized treatment of cancer, infertility, and other related cases that cannot be treated locally in the Gambia. She said the campaign will not only provide medical education and training for healthcare providers and embryologists, but it will also support governments to define policies to improve access to awareness and safe, effective, and regulated fertility care. This will address the need for intervention to reduce stigmatization and social suffering of the infertile women and the necessity for a team approach to family building among couples. The First Lady and Delegation also attended some of the side meetings to learn more about health-related issues on diabetes, cardiology risk, oncology and fertility.